Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercut video, episode 154. In the last episode, we got our platinum packs. I didn't upload yesterday again, um, just because there was really nothing to do. There was really, really nothing to do. Um, I know we had team ring domination. Um, that just that was just easy, really. It wasn't really. I think we played a couple games in the last video, though. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, we're going to get into today's episode. We have got an awesome episode, guys, because we have got a new event card in the game, and it is none other than Jinder Mahal, the Maharaja. Um, fucking fantastic. I'm really happy it's him. I'm, a sh like, a little bit sad it's the old uh, event card design, but I'll take it. Um, I'm not sure if the ultimate, lo it looks like a female. Let me know in the comments if you guys have already got onto that. I haven't even started yet, so I'm going to find out pretty soon who it is, but, yeah. That's the first piece of news. The second piece of news is Team Battleground. It is looking like we will make this a ninth straight win in Team Battleground, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'd like to shout out some of the members on their team. If we go into the chat, I literally just saw this actually like 10 minutes ago, but um, I got, I like, I was here and I was like, wait, who ho hope he is recording? But I was like, who are they talking about? So I scroll down and I see they're actually talking about me. So huge shout out to Shane um, uh, Kugami. I love your videos. Thank you so much, Shane. Really appreciate it. Are you recording? Um, I am. Yeah, recording right now. All right, there we go. Um, I subscribed. Thanks, man. Giving you a shout out. Okay, that's pretty much it. But yeah, um, big shout out to both of you guys. VZH, um, we will win. If anything, he might record the rewards if we uh, if he wins. But and then VZH said we will win. I'm pretty confident we'll win at this point. Um, I don't obviously want to jinx it at this point, you know, but. Uh, a couple of us still have got our attacks left, if you can see on their team, a couple of them haven't energised at all. Um, I don't think Carlos energised too much. Um, Cesaro did really well, so congratulations to him. Uh, let's see Shane, who's the other one talking in the chat. Yeah, he, he did okay, obviously. Um, you, know, if, you know, Josh did good. Um, but it was, yeah, overall, uh, it's fun. Um, I really still enjoy Battleground. But yeah, hopefully we can make this 9-0, which is really exciting, which means uh, next video, tomorrow's video, I'll bring you guys the rewards as usual, because I know you guys love seeing those rewards. But we do have two more attacks, actually. Um, I was just about to forget that. But we do have two more attacks. Let's choose someone who hasn't been attacked at all. Because the problem with, our, uh, with my team is we don't have any strategies out. So when we come up against some people who aren't fully energized, they're just going to attack anybody, and it's going to be very complicated to try and get 15,000 points. Because the technique is you want to try and get 15,000 points. It caps off 15,000 points. And if you really want to progress in the leaderboards, you need to be getting 15,000 to 14,000 points um, in the team battleground. So what that means is, you see, like, this Venom guy has been attacked zero times. And uh, if, people, if everyone just leaves him... For the end, then there's only going to be like two people left with their attacks, which means you know only ten people. Oh, he can only be attacked ten times. So there's obviously a strategy that we need to figure out with the team. So we're a bit more organised and we can um, try and get those more points. Because one day we are going to come up against a WrestleMania 33 team who are fully charged, and we're going to be like, oh, now what do we do? So yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just attack. Let's just attack the bomb guy. I don't really care how many points I get as long as I can help out my team. That's the point. So if I have to be the one who, you know, has to attack other people, um, just so, you know, there's more attacks we can get on him, then I'm fine with that. Power, Dean Ambrose. We'll go with Cesaro because I think he's got a WrestleMania. He doesn't. So we win that, actually. That would have been quite stupid if it would have been a WrestleMania. Uh, Charisma should be a win there. Brilliant. Easy win. Uh, I haven't lost a game yet. Um, before all of you guys say, yeah, but even if you were, even if you did lose a game, you'd just cheat and back out the game. Um, well, yes and no. Last, last background, as I proved to you guys, I kind of should stop doing that, especially when I'm recording it for YouTube and for you guys, because one, it's not great. I'm not really showing you guys a good example, but I do want to let you guys know all out there, because I did always say when there's ever anything I know about this game that could help you guys out, I will mention it. 
So, um, just to clarify one last time, if you guys are in a team battleground game, like right now you get into a game and you are currently losing the game before it is over and you come back on the screen and it says you lose zero points, before that, if you're on iPhone, double tap the home button, close the app, like, like proper close the app, and then just go back on it and it won't count as you lost. Um, on Android, the same thing, just close the app, go back on it. Um, what it will say though, it will still say the opponent is under attack for a little extra longer, like it will for like a good couple minutes, it will still say that the person's under attack. That really doesn't matter, considering you've got 24 hours to do your attacks, so yeah. Just letting you guys know that one, in case some of you didn't. Um, so he's all maxed, and so far two of his are maxed, so I'm going to attack... I just want to make sure people won't struggle with these guys, but everyone else has been attacked 15 out of 15 times. So, let's attack this Faded. Faded. Faded is going to be my last attack, guys. I'm sorry if you hear me like with the snuffles. I've got like a cold. Um, almost summer, and still have it, still getting colds here in Switzerland. Brilliant, isn't it? It's just fantastic. Can't get over it. Can't get over it. Anyway, that is a win number one for us. I'm going to go with... Yeah, let's do that. Should be, yeah, that's good. That's another win. And then Mickey James. Hopefully, we can uh, pick our next solo diva. No, Kofi. Oh, we lose. We lose. I think that's like the first time I've used Kofi King. That's not. But it's one of it's like it's. I don't. I haven't used Kofi much. Have not used him much. All right. Let's get our points. Get our picks, and then uh, we'll move on. So on common Sin Cara. On common Jimmy Hart. Very interesting. And that's it, guys. Those are all our attacks for this battleground. Um, well, the, yeah, this battleground attack phase. 10 hours before it ends, where on 11,200 points. I honestly think we will make this 9 and 0. Oh. Let's get into some Jinder Mahal ring domination, and I think we'll end the episode there. So, let's buy 75 title matches, and let's get straight into a game. So what do you guys think about Jinder Mahal as the event card? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, happy about it being Jinder. Uh, I would have loved a different event card. Like with a picture with the title on would have been great. I don't know why they didn't do that. That really would have been awesome. Uh, we lose power. Yeah, we do. We do lose power. It's not the great start to Ring Dom. This is my first game of Ring Dom this week. So uh, yeah, let's start off with a win, please. Uh, so let's start off with a win, please. Come on. Come on. Toughness. Oh, for fuck's sake. I had to call speed, didn't it? God damn it. And I and I'll have to attack either Matt or I have to attack Matt Hardy. Fantastic. Okay, so we're hoping for speed and we need Randy to proc in speed. It's charisma. He, Randy did proc in speed, in all fairness. He would have beat him in speed. That's a shame. It couldn't have caught speed. Anyway, that is an embarrassing loss for a first game of Ring Domination, which kind of sucks, because we really wanted to start it off on a good note. Let's get our picks. Hopefully, we can get a shard straight off the bat. It will make up for the fact we lost. I'm going to go with the face and the big body ones. Big body parts. That sounds wrong. But let's go with it, and we don't get anything. Let's get into um, another game. Yeah, one more game. Last game. Um, well, actually, we'll maybe do another game. This isn't too much of a long episode, but yeah. We are going to, as well, pro Alistair Black in the next episode, which has been taking a little bit of time. Obviously, I haven't played... I've played two, but just not so much. Not not so much. So, yeah, that's why. That's why I haven't already got him pro. But that's a loss for us. Seriously, come on. We have no event cards left either in our deck now. Oh my god. Randy, you would need you needed to proc there. You would have won in power if you would have procced. Let's do that. YOLO it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's toughness charisma, that is a win for us. Brilliant. That's what we want. That's what we want. We actually won a game. Come on. Uh I will go with Ken Shamrock there. We need to attack. Come on, he needs to go. Yeah, no. Power. Power and proc. Power and proc. Power and proc. Toughness. And no proc. So not at all what I wanted. It's all good. So that's two losses in a row now. What the fuck? 
I need to need to sort things out here. I'm gonna have to sort some things out. Even have to put some commons in or something. Because I just that's two losses in a row there. What's the point of title matches if I can't even win my matches? Dear dear dear. And still no shard. Still no shard. Alright guys. So um yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, you do not know who the ultimate... Uh, let's get into one last game. Fuck it, let's get into one last game. I really want to see this ultimate card is. We probably won't find out on video. But yeah. Let's see. I wonder who the WrestleMania card is as well. Hopefully that's a pro. Because our luck in uh, Team Background hasn't been fantastic. That's another loss, by the way. We're getting so unlucky with these decisions, man. It's just utter ridiculous. I bet he targets me with Jeff. Oh no, okay. We'll go with Shinsuke Nak and Mora. Um, so we beat him in pretty much nothing. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Wow. Okay then. Wow. Jeez. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do that, I suppose. And then we'll do this. Even if he procs in speed, we can't win. However, if he procs in toughness, we can win. So, proc in toughness, please. It's speed, charisma. Why am I not surprised? That is another loss, though. Seriously, can we stop losing? Fucking ring domination game. This is... I'm triggered. I'm fucking triggered. I'm letting all you guys know right now, I am triggered. Losing three games in a row? I mean, are you having a laugh? Come on, give, give me a shard, fuck's sake. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully my triggeredness doesn't affect you guys too much. But yeah, uh, Jinder Mahal, hopefully all you guys get him, I wish you the best of luck. Once again, shout out to everyone in Battleground. We'll be starting a King of the Ring probably in the next episode when we play our Alistair Black. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to, um, to announce on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Do drop in a like if you've enjoyed it. After last video, need your support on these videos, guys. I don't know what happened on last video. Apparently, the audio wasn't great. So, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace. Out.